Hey everyone, it's Professor Clark, and we are now starting chapter five. Yay, almost halfway through. In this lecture, we are going to learn about how to talk about days of the week and time on the hour. Let's start with days of the week. The days of the week in Russian are понедельник, Monday, which literally means the day after Sunday, вторник, Tuesday, which literally means the second day, среда, Wednesday, which literally means the middle, четверг, Thursday, which literally means the fourth day, пятница, Friday, which literally means the fifth day, суббота, Saturday, which is the Sabbath, and воскресенье, Sunday, which is Resurrection Day. If you want to ask what day is it, we say Какой сегодня день? Literally, what today is the day? And then to answer that question, you say сегодня, today, followed by the name of the day of the week in the nominative. So you could say, for example, Какой сегодня день? Сегодня четверг. What day is today? Today is Thursday. Or Какой сегодня день? Сегодня пятница. What day is today? Today is Friday. To talk about something happening on a specific day of the week, we are going to use V plus the accusative. So far, you have seen V used with the prepositional to indicate location, but we can also use V plus the accusative to indicate a variety of things, including when something happens at a certain time. So if you want to ask the question, on what day, you say, в какой день? If you want to say, on what days, we put it in the plural, and so we say, в какие дни? And then the answer is в plus the day of the week in the accusative. So a handy tip is that if someone asks you a question, the question is normally going to give you the grammatical form you need for the answer. So you see in the question, в какой день, we have в plus the accusative. And so in the answer, we are also going to use в plus the accusative. So you could say, for example, в понедельник, on Monday, в вторник, on Tuesday. And notice there that we have v or v because vtornik starts with a v plus another consonant. V vtornik. Vsredu on Wednesday. And note that stress shift. The nominative is sreda with the stress on the second syllable, but the accusative is sredu with the stress on the first syllable. And this is a very common stress shift for disyllabic feminine nouns. Sreda v sredu. V četvrk on Thursday, v pjatnicu on Friday, v subotu on Saturday, v vaskrisenje on Sunday. So you could say, for example, v kakie dni u tibia ruski jezik? On what days do you have Russian? And notice that when we say v before a voiceless consonant like ka, it becomes fa. В какие дни у тебя русский язык? У меня русский язык в понедельник, во вторник, в среду и в пятницу. I have Russian on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. Now let's talk about time of day. And we are just going to learn time on the hour. Uh, time off the hour is much more complicated, and we will learn it later. But for the moment, we're just going to learn time on the hour. If you want to ask, what time is it? You say, сколько сейчас времени? Literally, how much time right now? Сколько сейчас времени? And then we answer by saying, сейчас, followed by the time. And pay attention to these times. We're going to go through the times on the one-hour clock. Chas is one o'clock. It literally means hour, but we just say chas to mean one o'clock. And then we say dva, tri, 
четири часа. Two, three, or four o'clock. And notice how час becomes часа. And then we have a switch here because in Russian, when counting, we distinguish between one thing, two, three, four things, and five through ten things. And so we have два, три, четыре часа, two, three, or four o'clock, but пять часов, five o'clock. We change the ending from часа to часов. Пять часов, five o'clock. Шесть часов, six o'clock. Семь часов, seven o'clock. Восемь часов, eight o'clock. Девять часов, nine o'clock. Десять часов, ten o'clock. Одиннадцать часов, eleven o'clock. Двенадцать часов, twelve o'clock. So it will be just час for one o'clock, часа for two, three, or four o'clock, and then часов for five through twelve o'clock. And finally, let's talk about how to indicate action at a certain time. If you want to ask, at what time, you say, в сколько. Notice that we have ве о here. В сколько. Why do we have ве о? Because. This is just one of those because moments. So we say, в сколько with ве о. And then the answer is going to be в plus the time of day. And the time of day is in the accusative, but in all the times of day, the accusative is going to look like the nominative, so there's not going to be any difference. So we say v час at one o'clock, v dva часа at two o'clock, v tri часа at three o'clock, v четыре часа at four o'clock, v пять часов at five o'clock, v шесть часов. At six o'clock. В сим часов. At seven o'clock. В восем часов. At eight o'clock. В девять часов. At nine o'clock. В десять часов. At ten o'clock. В одиннадцать часов. At eleven o'clock. В двенадцать часов. At twelve o'clock. And so you could say, for instance, Во сколько у тебя русский язык? At what time do you have Russian? У меня русский язык в одиннадцать часов. I have Russian at 11 o'clock. And so there you have it. Uh, there's more that you can talk about, telling the time and so on and so forth. But the basics of talking about days of the week and times of day is pretty straightforward. If you want to say um, what time or what day, both the question and the answer are in the nominative. If you want to say at what time or on what day, both the question and the answer will have v plus accusative.